dear students welcome to next lecture of econ 365 farm management production and resource economics today's our topic is about the factor product relationship then what is mean by production function and most important three stages of the production function okay so firstly we will discuss about the factor product relationship in the production economics there are three types of relationship that is first one factor product relationship then product product relationship and factor factor relationship now factor product relationship factor means input product means output so this is about the input output relationship okay so this relationship this factor product relationship deals with the production efficiency of resources or the production efficiency of the input so the rate at which the factors are transformed into the product the, it is the study of this relationship means in this relationship we have to study about the rate at, at which the factors are transformed into the products or inputs are transformed into the output so optimization of production is the goal of this relationship optimization or maximization of production is the ultimate goal of the factor product relationship so this relationship means factor product relationship is known as the input output relationship by farm management specialist and fertilizer responsive curve by agronomist means in a short factor product relationship is also known as the input output relationship so this relationship guides the farmer in the making decision of how much to produce factor product relationship guides the farmer in a taking or in a making decision of how much to produce okay so this relationship factor product relationship helps the producer in the determination of optimum input use optimum input to use and optimum output to produce means how you will utilize your available resources to get the maximum product or to get the maximum output it is shown by this factor product relationship so here in factor product relationship price ratio is the choice indicator which is the choice indicator in factor product relationship price ratio is the choice indicator in the factor product relationship means when we choose the any inputs suppose fertilizer you will think about the prices of that input or prices of that factor so price ratio is the choice indicator in the factor product relationship so this relationship is very well explained by the law of diminishing returns as we have studied in the second semester course that is fundamentals of agricultural economics in that we have seen the example of rasgulla okay so this relationship explained by the law of diminishing returns which is applicable in the agriculture field so algebraically this relationship is expressed as y is equal to function of x1 divided by x2 x3 and up to the x n okay now next topic is about the production function what is mean by production function and types of the production function so production function shows an input output relationship what it shows or what it indicates keep in mind production function indicates the input output relationship then it describes the rate at which resources are transformed into the product means production function describes the rate at which resources are transformed into the products so these are numerous there are numerous input output relationship in agriculture because the rate at which inputs are transformed into output will vary among the soil types animals technologies rainfall amount 
rainfall amount and so forth means there are so many factors which affects the production in the agriculture sector so there are numerous or number of input output relationship you can observe in the agriculture sector because there are various number of factors used for the production purposes uh, suppose we if you take the example of the number of inputs for the crop production we need number of inputs so there is number of input output relationship suppose uh, seed seed and yield relationship fertilizer and yield relationship insecticide pesticide and yield relationship then labor and yield relationship so th there are the number of factors which are responsible for the production in the agriculture that's why there are number of input output relationship in the agriculture okay now most important definition of production function question may be asked define the production function and explain the stages of production function so definition is most important then types of the production function is also important we will see the definition production function is a technical and mathematical relationship describing the manner and extent to which a particular product depend on the quantities of input or services of inputs used at given level of technology and in a given period of time so this is a broad definition of production function in other words or in a short term production function is the relationship between input and output can be characterized as production function so in a simple language production function is the relationship between input and output what is production function it the relation between input and output can be characterized as a production function so production function shows the quantity of output that can be produced using the different levels of input means what it shows or what it indicates production function indicates or shows quantity of output that can be produced by using different level of inputs or by applying different level of inputs so a production function can be expressed in a different ways means there are the different ways to express the production function in a written form enumerating and describing the inputs that have a bearing on the output then by listing inputs and the resulting outputs in a numerical table then depicting in the form of graph means we can draw the graph of input and output relationship then graph or diagram and in the form of algebraic equation means you can express it in the algebraically equation also so algebraically it is shown as y that is the yield or output is the function of x1 x2 x3 and xn these are the inputs so y is the output and x1 x3 and up to xn are the inputs so algebraically production function is expressed as y is equal to function of x1 x2 up to the xn so this is about the production function now next is types of production function so there are four types of production function first one continuous function second discontinuous function third one short run function and fourth is long run production function so these are the four types of production function so first one is continuous function now what happens in continuous function these doses or these doses means small splits or small units of input that is the doses okay or levels of input these levels of input and output can be split up into small units response of yield to different levels of input that is fertilizer can be applied to a hectare of land in a different quantities ranging from kilogram to 100 kilos of a kilogram so this is the continuous function means when you split the doses of the fertilizer into small unit 
so it is considered as the continuous production function suppose we take the example of the fertilizer we not we did not apply the 100 kg as it is we split that 100 kg dose into small units into small doses that is the continuous production function now what is this continuous function or discrete production function such a function is obtained for input factors or work units which are used or done in whole numbers such as one plowing or number of plowings one can only shift from one point to another means we cannot split the number of plowings you can say one plowing second plowing third plowing fifth plowing fourth plowing or fifth plowing means this is the obtained from the one unit or whole numbers discrete function or discontinuous function is shown by the whole number or we can take it as the whole number one one plowing is the one number or whole number likewise you cannot split that plowing into half or point plowing that's why it is the discontinuous function or discrete function then third short run production function so production function which related to factors and products where some resources are fixed can be termed as short run production function so the production function in which some factors are fixed factors that production function is considered as short run production function then next is long run production function those inputs output relationship which permits variation in the input of all the factors can be termed as long run production function so the production function can be expressed in a three forms that is in a table form in a ge geometry form that is in a graphical or diagrammatic form and last one in algebraic form okay so this is about the types of production function now most important is elasticity of production that is ep what is elasticity of production is the ep so it is a measure of responsiveness of output to change in input it is the measure of responsiveness of output to change in input that is the elasticity of production so question may be asked define the elasticity of production so definition must be elasticity of production is the measure of responsiveness of output to change in input okay so the elasticity of production refers to proportionate change in output as compared to proportionate change in input so elasticity of production can be referred as proportionate change in output as compared to proportionate change in input so ep is equal to percentage change in output divided by percentage change in input means elasticity of production formula for elasticity of production is percentage change in output divided by percentage change in input so that is the responsiveness of output to the change in input okay now ep is equal to change in output divided by initial output into 100 divided by change in input divided by initial output initial input divided by 100 so this is algebraical form of the elasticity of production that is delta y whereas y is the output delta y means change in y divided by y into 100 divided by change in input means delta x divided by x into 100 then ultimately in the last delta y divided by delta x into x divided by y so here by rearranging we have the delta y means change in y divided by y means quantity of output into x divided by y is equal to delta y delta y divided by delta x divided by 
y divided by x is equal to MPP divided by APP means marginal physical product divided by average physical product. So, the elasticity of production is the ratio of marginal physical product to the average physical product. So, elasticity of production is the ratio of marginal physical product to average physical product. It may be EP is equal to 1 means elasticity of production is equal to 1 that is the constant return. If elasticity of production is greater than 1, it is in case of the increasing return. If elasticity of production is less than 1, it is the case of diminishing return. Then EP is equal to 0 and last one, EP, if EP is less than 0, it is the negative returns or minus returns. So, this is about the elasticity of production. So, such elasticity of production means EP is equal to 1 or EP greater than or less than or is equal to 0, 1, it will be shown in the three stages of production function. Okay. Now, most important topic of production economics is about the three stages of production function. As we see in the diagram, input on the x axis and output on the y axis. So, the production function shows total average and marginal product. Total product means overall product, then average, average product and the marginal means additional product can be divided into three regions or three stages in a such a manner that one can locate the zone of product production in which production decisions are rational. So, these are the three stages or three phases or three regions or three zones of the production function. Now, if we observe the stage 1, in the what happens in a stage 1? In a stage 1, TP means total production is increasing at increasing rate up to the point of inflection. But in case of MP, at the initial stage means MP means marginal product at the initial stage MP is also increasing after a some point means after a point of inflection MP, MP goes on decreasing. In case of AP means average product in a first stage average product is increasing constantly. Now if we observe the second stage TP is increasing but at constant rate AP decreasing MP is decreasing at the end of second stage MP is at the 0. Now what happens in stage 3? TP declining, AP declining and MP goes on negative. So these are the three stages of production function. So when EP is equal to 1, it indicates the constant returns. So it happens in at the end of the stage 1. Then EP is greater than 1 that is increasing return it also happens in the stage 1 of production function because at the beginning the returns are increasing then EP is less than 1 that is diminishing return it happens in stage 2 in case of average product and in case of marginal product and in case of total production also then EP is equal to 0 when MPP is 0 or TPP is maximum it is the observe if you see TP total production is maximum in the stage 2 means in the stage 2 EP is equal to 0 in the stage 1 EP is equal to 1 or EP is greater than 1. Now in a stage 3 EP is negative because marginal product goes on negative or average product total product goes on decreasing that is why in the stage 3 EP is less than 0 or EP is negative. Now we will discuss one all the three stages one by one. Now first stage. So the stage of the first stage of production starts from the point of origin that is from the 0. In this zone marginal product is more than average physical product. If we observe the stage first only stage first in this zone or in this stage marginal physical product that is MPP is more than 
APP means average physical product, hence average physical product increases throughout this zone. So, marginal physical product is increasing up to the point of inflection, means point of inflection is observed in the stage 1 up to that marginal physical product is increasing up to the point of inflection, keep in mind and then it declines. Since marginal physical product increases up to the point of inflection, the total physical product increases at increasing rate. Then what happens after the point of inflection, the total physical product increases but at decreasing rate. Okay. Now in case of elasticity of production is greater than unity means elasticity of production is greater than 0 up to maximum average product that is APP. Now elasticity of production is 1 at the end of stage 1 that is when MPP is equal to APP at that point elasticity of production is equal to 1. Okay. Now in this zone fixed resources are in abundant quantity or are, are in more quantity relative to or related to variable resources. If you com compare fixed resources with variable resources in the stage 1, you will observe that fixed resources are in abundant quantity in case of the or if you compare with the variable resources. So, in the first stage technical efficiency of fixed resources is also increasing as reflected by the increasing total physical product means the technical efficiency or resource use efficiency of fixed resources is increased or it remains it increases continuously in the first stage because total physical product is also increasing continuously now what happens in first stage marginal value product that is mvp is more than marginal physical factor cost or marginal factor cost. So, in a first stage MVP that is marginal value product is more than MFC that is marginal factor cost. Now, then in case of marginal revenue, marginal revenue is also more than marginal cost. Marginal revenue is more than marginal cost in the first stage of production function. Then this is irrational or suboptimal zone of production. So, when your marginal returns are more than marginal cost, so it is the irrational or suboptimal zone of production. So, this zone or this first stage of production function ends at the point where MPP is equal to APP or where MPP is maximum. So, this is about the first stage of production function. Now, second stage. Now, the if you observe the second stage only, you think about the second stage only. The second zone starts from the technical efficiency where the technical efficiency of variable resources is maximum that is APP is maximum that is MPP is equal to APP. Means, this stage starts when MPP is equal to APP. So, in this zone marginal physical product is less than average physical product. What happens in second stage? In first stage you have observed average physical product is, al is also less than the marginal physical product. In second stage also marginal physical product is less than the average physical product. Therefore, APP decreases throughout this second stage. Means in second stage, APP is decreasing, MPP is also decreasing and TPP is also decreasing. Then marginal physical product is decreasing throughout this zone. As MPP declines, the total physical product increases but at decreasing rate. Means TP is also increasing but at the decreasing rate. Okay. Elasticity of production is 0 at the end of this zone, means EP is 0 at the end of second stage. In this zone, variable resources are more relative to fixed resources. What happens in first stage? In the first stage, 
fixed resources are more than variable resources but in second stage the situation is totally opposite means in the second stage variable resources is more relative to fixed factors or fixed resources the technical efficiency of variable resources is declining as indicated by declining average physical product okay means technical efficiency of variable resources is declining in the second stage it is indicated by the declining or decreasing average physical product then in case of fixed resources technical efficiency of fixed resources is increasing as reflected by increasing total physical product okay the marginal value product is equal to marginal fixed cost means in a second stage mvp is equal to mfc that is marginal factor cost and marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost so this is the rational zone of production in which producer should operate to obtain his objective of profit maximization as we know when mvp is equal to mfc and marginal returns is equal to marginal cost there is a chances of profit maximization or there is the point of maximum profit so it is observed in the second stage that's why second stage is considered as the rational zone of production so this zone or this second stage ends at the point where total physical product is maximum or marginal physical product is zero means this stage ends at when tpp is maximum and mpp is zero so this is about the second stage of production function now third or last stage of production function so this stage starts where technical efficiency of fixed resources is maximum means when tpp is maximum at that point third stage of production function starts so in the third stage average physical product is declining but remains positive means in the third stage if you observe the graph average physical product is declining but remains positive marginal physical product becomes negative because it go below the zero so it becomes negative in third stage marginal physical product is negative then the total physical product declines at a faster rate since mpp is negative means when mpp become negative total physical product or total production goes on decreasing then in the third stage elasticity of production that is ep is less than zero in this zone variable resources is in excess capacity means when you use the excess level of inputs your returns or your output will decline or your output will decreases so the technical efficiency of variable resources is decreasing as reflected by the curve okay the technical efficiency of fixed resources is also decreasing as indicated by declining tpp then marginal value product is less than marginal factor cost means mvp is less than the factor cost or marginal revenue is less than marginal cost that's why this zone or this third stage is also irrational or supra optimal zone third stage is known as the supra optimal zone or irrational zone of production function so in this stage producer should never operate in this zone even the resources available at free of cost because your total physical product is also decreasing total production is decreasing ap is decreasing and marginal physical product means additional product goes on negative so this is about the three stages of production function this is the most important part of production economics there are maximum ch chances to ask the question on production function stage three stages of production function so you can refer the book of viti raju and another book by zolan kapoor thank you